Hey there, Becca here from Inside the Square, and in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you some creative ways that you can customize the mobile menu icon on your Squarespace website. We're going to be doing all of this magic using some custom code, and as always, you'll find the codes in the description below. We're going to change the background shape for your mobile menu icon, so we have a cool icon on top of a circle. Then we're going to change the color of the individual lines inside that icon. We'll change the shape of those lines, and I'll even teach you how to use your own custom image for the icon icon itself. Now, all the codes are underneath this video, and if you want to jump ahead to any specific technique, check out the chapters that I've listed bleh, listed in the description below. Without further ado, I'll go ahead and share my screen so we can get started. All right, here we are in Squarespace, and on the left-hand side of the screen, I'm going to navigate to Pages, then Website Tools, and then Custom CSS. This very first code that I'm going to paste below will create this effect of a round background for the icon where we've changed it to orange, we've given it a 50% border radius, and we told the computer browser, make sure it's always a one-to-one -one ratio so it stays that perfect circle. This will happen in the normal state for the icon and it will show up behind that close X when the mobile menu is open. Now, if you wanna change the color for any of this, you absolutely can. Adjust the word orange to any web safe color name or maybe a hex color code like this, whatever you'd like to customize. The same applies for the icon itself, which is cleverly known as top bun, patty, and bottom bun when we're talking about the burger. Good one, Squarespace. Now for this background color, I changed it to a solid white, but you can change this again to any color code that you want to see. Yellow is kind of difficult to see. Let's go with purple. A little more vibrant, there we go. All right, after you've changed those colors, let's say that you actually want to change the individual line colors themselves. So top bun is a unique one, patty is a different one, and bottom bun is different as well. I'm gonna replace this part of my code right here with a custom color for each individual part of the burger. And now we can see that effect taking place. Again, change any of those color codes to anything you want it to be, a hex color code, an RGBA, or a web safe color name like red, green, and blue. As I was working on this code, I realized that the lines themselves have those 90 degree corners and it didn't really jive well with the circle background that we created. I'm gonna zoom in on the screen here so you can see. This next code that I'm going to add is actually going to round the corners of those lines, just a tiny little detail that can have a big impact on how the design is perceived. So if you wanna round the edges or the corners of those lines, add that additional code to the top bun, patty, and bottom bun. Now, last but not least, let's say that you don't like any of these styles and you want to replace that mobile menu icon with your own image. We can do that with some custom code as well. I'm going to remove all the magic we just created. And before I paste the code to make this magic happen, what I want you to notice is this drop down right here that says custom files. If you click on this option, this is where you can add the new icon that you want to use for your mobile menu. I have one icon for the closed state and one for the open state. Just click this plus sign or drag and drop the files from your computer. And after you've added those files, let's go ahead and customize this code right here. You'll notice as soon as I've added it, the old burger icon has completely disappeared. And that's okay. We just need to update this code to replace it with our new icons. I'm going to remove the filler text that says open icon and immediately we're going to see this little drop down that Squarespace is showing me for the images that I've added to my custom files. Let's go ahead and click the open image and now we're going to see the sun icon there for our mobile menu. But there's one more thing that we need to change. Where it says close icon, let's remove that text and click on the icon we've uploaded for the closed state or the close button of our mobile menu. Now when I click on the mobile menu, we'll see a different icon to indicate that we need to close it to access the rest of the site. So again, we have an open icon and a close icon. You're going to want to upload those images here and I'd recommend making them a one-to-one -one ratio so they fit perfectly inside that space for your mobile menu. Now this part of the code where it says background size contain, background repeat, no repeat, position right, color transparent, all of that stuff is going to make sure that the icon stays where it needs to be so it functions like a mobile menu. I'd recommend leaving those parts alone unless you're an expert at custom code or comfortable with customizing that aspect of your site. Otherwise, just leave those be and it will keep working the way it's supposed to. The only part that's going to change is the visible icon that you've customized with your own image. After you've made all the modifications you need to make, Select save when you're done and you'll be good to go. 
Underneath this video, you'll find all the codes that I just shared with you and links to related resources to help you customize your Squarespace website even more. Thank you so much for watching this video. I truly hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a like and let me know in the comments. And again, check out the related content that I have linked below because I have so much more to teach you about all the cool things that Squarespace can do. Thanks again for watching. And most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now. When Squarespace design options are starting to limit your creative ideas, there's a pro secret that you should know. Creating your own code for Squarespace is not that complicated. I taught myself how to do it, and now I've taught thousands of Squarespacers around the world how to do it too. If you want to learn basic CSS for Squarespace in less than 20 minutes, head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash learn. That's insidethesquare.co forward slash learn.